Right. She's a woman of many talents, one of them being that she makes her own line of natural scents. Felice well, Ortiz is live to learn more about essential oil apothecary. Hello. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You guys. So do you remember here? I was in here last week doing a cookie collection on all things espresso machines. Yes. Remember, she had like yes. a gazillion that took over her house. Well, you know how nosy we get. So I, of course, wandered into this room and I'm like, well, what do we have here? <laughs> and look oh, at all of wow. this stuff. I know. Oh, she's got all kinds of different oils and distilleries, right? Distiller, uh, distills, distills yeah. right? That she likes to do. And uh, you saw, you saw this, of course, fantastic piece right there. She is all about Egypt. You're heading there in September. So we're back with my friend Cher. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Oh my gosh. So when you're done with your your coffee, your your espresso, right? Then you come on in here. I do. And you work your magic, almost almost literally. I do. <laughs> I I get right into my orders and decide what my customers are going to get for the little samples. I yes. I love it. I You've been it. doing this for about 20 years, you said. You're a yes. professional aromatherapist. And all of these are, you know, some of the different scents and whatnot. But you create your own pieces, your own items here. Yes. And she's got a collection of vintage oils yes. that go back years. Years. Uh, some as early as 1930, okay. maybe even earlier. It's hard to date some of this stuff. Oh, my yes. gosh. And they come from all over the globe. All over the globe, from India yes. to Africa to you name it. Oh, you name gosh. it. Yes. You okay. Yeah. So you've got a couple of items here. Yeah. So you actually make your own butter. Yes. Uh, we call them flour butter. Flour butter. Yes. Oh, I like it. Okay, yeah. so let's go ahead and try that here. So basically what it does is, uh, this is a very simple way to start yeah. out and make your, your own perfume, perfume and it's natural. Okay. It starts out as um, rose flour yeah. butter. Okay. So uh, Sorry. Almost like clay. Almost like clay. It's, yeah. it's, the, it's after distillation. That's what you have left. Okay. And you can literally put it in a beaker of hot water okay. and it melts naturally. Then what you do is you add, it's a two parts to one, so two parts butter to one part oil. And right now I'm using uh, certified organic jojoba. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure your stuff is real clean. Okay. And then you can mix it. How cute is that little whisk? Isn't that great? <laughs> I love this. I love this. And you can already see as it's starting to cool down, because we set this up earlier, but yeah. you can see it's already starting to set up. Uh -huh. And then, you know, I like to add a little accoutrement. So I right. do a rose hip because okay. it's, it's really good. You're putting this on your skin. You want to yeah. have stuff really good. And then once it once it's cooled down, yeah. and it should be cooled down a little bit more, but this is okay. You're going to add your rose essential oil okay. or absolute, so okay. we add a few drops of that. And that's like, you could choose any of these little... You can do yeah. anything you want, as long as you've got the flower butter, which, or sorry, the floral wax. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're good to go. And then you just pour it into your container, and you have your own perfume. So check How this cool. out. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yes. And you just let it set, and uh -huh. you've got something that stays on your body. It's healthy for you, and yeah. you smell delicious. Like, why wouldn't you want to smell nice, like a flower? Yeah. Like a flower. Or I like flower that. And butter. <laughs> my two favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. I, the, the other thing I want to show is this plant. Take a look yeah. at this. All right. This is a. What did you call this? So this is a patchouli plant. It's from the mint family, yeah. and uh, I actually age my patchouli. So this is patchouli from 2007, and yes, I do sell it on my store. Yeah. And it's a 14-year-old patchouli. And what I found was I love aging some of these oils like sandalwood patchouli. They start to get their character, their their you know their fun stuff yeah. after about almost 10 years. like wine. Right? Yes, yes. It's like <laughs> aging wine. And it's weird because I'm not a patient person, but oils treat, teach me how to be a patient girl. I like so that. I love that. Oh it's it's gosh. all alchemy. You know, I, I like love that. Fantastic. Cher, I'm telling you, you're so fascinating. All kinds of fun tricks up your sleeve. Thank okay, you. all her information on our website if you would like to. If you're interested in learning more about the oils, we've got that on our website, goodaysacramento.com. I'll send it back over to you. And I'm sure she's got something else in her house, too. We'll go back next week. She's fascinating. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We'll just keep going back. Don't even let her know. Just keep showing up. Just keep Hi, showing we're up. we're back. <laughs> I need some content. <laughs>